Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, I'm so excited about this video, I can't tell you. Um, this is the first clip I'm recording. And basically, if you don't know, I'm back in India for the summer break. Uh, I'm off to medical school, which is nice to be back home, relaxing and all. But basically, my family and I had planned a trip to Tanzania. Going on an African safari has been on my bucket list since I was like two, three years old, before I even had or knew what a bucket list was. Um, I've always really loved wildlife and Africa is such a beautiful continent as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm just really gassed about being able to go there. I'm going to be spending a week there and uh, we have our flight in a few hours and I have to leave home in an hour. So I'm not going to delay this any further and I'm going to see you straight on the journey. So the journey to Tanzania is not an easy one. It's two flights and 12 hours long. The first flight from Delhi to Doha, Qatar, and the second flight out of Qatar Airport to Kilimanjaro International Airport in Tanzania. So, after an incredibly long journey, we finally reached our place of stay which is near Tarangire National Park um, and uh, yeah it's crazy so basically on the drive here we saw zebras we saw wildebeest we saw elephants really really close to the uh, resort and uh, yeah they, they're so close they can just come into the camp and uh, yeah that's pretty crazy uh, I'll uh, show you guys around a bit because it's a pretty cool place so well, this is the view from our room Got a little balcony and a high points. Yeah, super spacious. It has an incredible number of beds. So now we're just heading for lunch uh, after, like I said, what was an incredibly tiring journey. Um, yeah, today is just going to be a chill day. We're not doing much, although we do have a game drive tomorrow early in the morning so we'll just lay back relax and uh yeah let's go get some lunch unbelievable oh my god so we're at the camp and this is what we've just spotted After lunch, the evening was spent doing some physio exercises and then taking a nice, long, fresh uh, shower outdoors in the bush, um, which was interesting. And then just lounging and relaxing with a view of the forest. Morning guys, so it's time for our first game ride or safari. Um yeah, it's like super early in the morning. Uh it's like five forty five. And uh we're heading out early to get a good start. So let's go. Service and everything. Ready for the safari? Yes, we are looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, 
So now we are going to Tarangire National Park. From yeah. here until to the gate is not too far away. It's just five, uh, five minutes. We'll be at the gate. And last night you will hear the. Oh, wow. So we've just made a stop for a bathroom break and like I buttoned my shirt up for leave because there are these setsy flies basically that carry sleeping sickness and they're everywhere throughout the bush so I wanted to and I think something bit me on my neck so I wanted to cover up as much as possible uh, but basically we've seen a few animals as you would have seen uh, but uh, be, right now we're on the search for a lion, a pride of lions uh, because yeah, we definitely want to see the big five and it's just day one, but uh, you know sooner the better So we finally saw some lions. Where is that? Where is that? So it's been an amazing safari so far. We did manage to spot the lions. Uh, we spotted a couple of female lions and a cub as well. Uh, so that's been pretty cool, but uh, I'm not satisfied yet. We still have to see a proper like male lion. But uh, now we're gonna have lunch and uh, drive around the park a little bit more. And then we're gonna head off to Karatu for our safari tomorrow. Fruit of the Baobab tree. So now we're leaving Dalingire. We're just exiting the park. Uh, and uh, we're gonna drive to Kiratu to our next hotel. Time to lounge around and uh, go grab some dinner. Good morning guys, so it's day two of our journey today and like I said we're going to be going to the Ngorongoro crater. Um, yeah, it's kind of cold outside today and uh, the outside, like, you know, the environment is completely green which is why I'm wearing green, 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 because, uh, you know, you need to be camouflaged, you need to blend in. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get going. So guys, we just reached the Ngorongoro Conservation Area and we're at the gate. Uh, now we're going to be driving from uh, the rim of the crater to the base of the crater where all the animals and all the wildlife is. So, yeah. so the Ngorongoro Crater is essentially a volcanic caldera 
which is basically a volcano that when erupting collapsed on itself and created this massive hole in a mountain that's now the crater. It is a conservation area and not a national park and therefore there are various Maasai tribes and groups living in the crater. So we're just in line to show the permit but we have this insane view of the entire crater right now. I have no idea if you can even hear me right now but have a look. Surface of the crater. So, the Ngorongoro crater has a very dense population of wildlife in an area about 60 times smaller than the Serengeti. This density exists due to the fertility of the land, which resulted from a lot of volcanic activity here over the years due to the presence of various geological structures such as Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Meru and the caldera itself. They uh, migrate together because they are uh, zebras, they got their good memories yeah. and to see their predators. And if they are wild beast, they got their sniff, yeah, the smelling, to know whether there is a raining and water, but they don't know how to reach it. So they are depending on Lions, guys, lions. That's a carpet bird. Oh, that's a meal. No. So, we had an amazing first quarter of the day. Our game drive has been really good. We've seen lions and loads of other stuff. Now we're just taking a stop for lunch and uh, then we're gonna continue on the game drive. So this stork is basically being a menace and trying to steal the food of people around him. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. His territory. So we were just in the car and I was standing on top of the jeep over there and I, I was just standing up and we were driving and then suddenly a swarm of like a thousand bees fly directly into the car and uh, yeah they were just all over so we've stopped literally in the middle of the freaking jungle like savannah like <laughs> so the animals right there on that side and uh we're uh, the car of bees right now uh, yeah all lions no oh, that was the tape three very so now we're done with uh, Gorongoro saying bye to this unimaginably beautiful place. I mean, honestly, it's difficult to believe that there's actually a place like that on Earth after oh, yeah. just witnessing our cities and stuff like that. So, we have just arrived at the Serengeti after what was an incredibly, incredibly bumpy ride. Like literally you were getting thrown to the top of the car and down below but uh, it's so beautiful. It's actually, the name Serengeti means endless plains and it matches that definition so well. Because for miles, I mean now we've reached the rest stop but for miles we just couldn't see 
anything else it was just endless planes now we've reached one of the gates if you can just see it the gates where we park the jeep and where our guide is gonna show uh, the officials our permit and then we'll be entering the park check out this plant a tree not plant but uh, check out the thorns on this guy I mean okay let me show you some clear ones look at that that's my hand and that's the size of the thorn and they just filled with thorns. so I just want to give a quick shout out to Roy Safaris as they were the operator that we did our tour with they organized the itinerary the lodges and accommodation and our excellent amazing driver Frank who is our guide as well and without him the trip would have not been what it was so if you're going to Tanzania definitely check out Roy Safaris it ran away. Yeah, they smell the danger. Lion on the hunt. Wow. Poor lion. See that the head walk. The others will run later. Yeah. Yeah. So the sunset on the Serengeti. This is literally what you see in documentaries. Climbing on the mountain. What you dream of. So beautiful. So we're at our first lodge in the Serengeti and uh, we're right in the middle of the jungle. Like literally in the middle of the Serengeti, no civilization around the camp and we're literally living in tents. So let me show you around a bit. I mean, we can't even walk out of the tent alone. We're meant to call one of the Maasai warriors here who take us from the tent to the main area because they're like hippos and other animals that just come around at night and in the day. So check out the place. Good morning guys, welcome to day 4 of our trip and uh, this morning we're staying in the Serengeti and uh, it's really early in the morning right now, like what 6? 30 I think uh, but yeah we're in our tent overlooking the forest the savannah whatever no, so welcome back to another day of safari we're out on the Serengeti today and uh, we're trying to spot some new and uh, a lot of cool animals. Mm. What's sighting? Mm. That small one just looks like a jungle That's book. That's a lot of elephants. Oh. Oh. Look at that. So sweet. <laughs> that is so cute. Lion, guys. This is a green dog room. Oh my god.
Okay, so now we are just at the airstrip for a bathroom break. We've been on a game drive for a while and it's been pretty great. We saw a male lion, which I recorded and you must have seen. Uh, and we saw a cheetah as well, which was quite far, but it was good. But anyway, now we're traveling to the North Serengeti uh, to witness the migration, the Great Migration, which is the largest migration of any land animals anywhere on Earth and about a few million of wildebeest, zebras, gazelles crossed from Tanzania into Kenya uh, for, you know, better grass, better uh, food for them and they have to cross the river with like many dangers like drowning and uh, well, crocodiles as well. Oh my god, crocodile is biting his back. Crocodile. So he's been attacked by a crocodile. Oh my god. He's pulling it down. Oh my god. You see the tail? Oh yeah, I can see the tail. It's a big bite. I saw him with a big wound. Oh, here he tries. He's trying. Oh, its head is going down. Its oh, head is going down. Oh, 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 rolling over. Rolling oh, over. Shivan, are rolling you seeing? Are you seeing? Rolling yeah, over, Shivan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can see. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. So, we're at our next uh, camp. And this is the one place throughout the trip that we're going to be staying for two nights. So, and, and I'm really glad it's at this place because it's amazing. Again, let me show you around. So these are the bedrooms. This is the view. This is the bathroom. The shower. And this is what it looks like from the outside. You have some nice seating out here. And then this stunning view of the Serengeti. So we've set out this morning to try and witness the migration. And we've had a bunch of animals greet us along the way. The migration really is an incredible phenomenon as it's a matter of life and death for most of these wildebeest as you can see by this unfortunate wildebeest carcass that's being torn apart by scavengers. So we're trying to see a full blown river crossing today and basically there are various points at which the wildebeest try and cross the river. Uh, so it's like point zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and uh, we're just following the river, trying to find a point where the crossing is about to occur. But we haven't found any so far, so we're still on the lookout. <laughs> So finally the wildebeest have started crossing, uh, they're right behind me, if I zoom in. Uh, they're crossing a few at a time right now, 
but a lot more are on the way. Yeah, there's a crocodile, very long... Crocodile, crocodile, There's a long one. Move, move, move. Leave, 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 leave. Good, 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 good. <laughs> So we just got news on the radio of a cheetah somewhere nearby and uh, so we're driving back to hopefully get an eye on that. So we were just crossing the bridge up ahead and uh, yep. Yeah. Oh just the prank, that's it. So at the end of the trees, we may have spotted the next big gap. I can't change from my zoom lens right now, so you're seeing my face very close by. Can I see it through the camera? You can see the tail over there. Like I can see its uh, legs hanging. So we finally spotted the elusive leopard. Although it was camouflaged so well, it was almost invisible. We decided to eat lunch near the tree in the hopes that the leopard would come down, but unfortunately, he hardly moved an inch oh in the half an hour that we were there. Leopard. Deep in the trees. Something else has been sighted. Again, no time to change the lens. Chips connected underneath that tree over there. They're on alert. Check it out, guys. Check it out. So this is our second cheetah sighting of the day. Oh, check it out. Hello. Hey Two more brothers Hello. just Hello. sitting under the tree. This is not up. This is so no, now the trees later we spotted a lion. Right now we're at the border between Kenya and Tanzania and as you can see the border marker says KE for Kenya so if you look on that side that side we have the Maasai Mara and if you look on that side that side we have the Serengeti and TZ uh, for Tanzania Welcome to, I don't know, day 5 of our Tanzania trip and uh, day 4 of uh, game drives. Uh, today we're going to be leaving this uh, beautiful lodge that we were at and we're going to be heading uh, from the North Serengeti to the Central Serengeti uh, to try and spot some more big cats because uh, there is a denser population near the central Serengeti and today will be our last day of safari which is sad but it's been amazing uh, so I look forward to one more great day to close this whole thing off and then tomorrow we're going to be heading back to Arusha
So the goal today was to spot big cats and we were lucky enough to achieve one of our targets at the start of the day in the form of spotting a solitary male cheetah who was quite active and uh, yeah, putting on quite a good show for us. So we spotted cheetahs like around an hour or an hour and a half at the, the drive from the North Serengeti to the Central Serengeti. And uh, now we're going on a path a bit deeper into the savanna, not on the main road anymore. Uh, hopefully to find some more of the big cats or some other animals that we you know, haven't seen much of. So we're near the river trying to have a look if there are any lions or leopards around here. So we just saw something in the grass on the other side of the river but it ducked its head down underneath the grass. It might be a leopard because this is an area for leopards and uh, I hope it is. It's the only animal we haven't seen clearly so far. So let's see. Let's try and find it. So I just saw that dead zebra lying over there. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Can we stop and look at it? And look what's right next to it. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe I spotted that. And that is the fish I think is this morning. And behind her, that red piece is so lion number two. The entire pride must be somewhere around here. So we've tried to divide and conquer. One of us is watching the riverbank, one of us is watching the trees, one of us is watching the grasslands and we managed to spot four more lions. So you can see three on the bank over there and one sleeping. So welcome to the central Serengeti now. Uh, as you can see, there are zero trees around me, just grasslands, which is a characteristic of the central part of the Serengeti. They're more sitting under the trees. Look at the sea fly. Don't make noise, we're recording. So we were just driving down that road over there and my mom was having a conversation about how where the lions sit on these rocks around us. You can see there's some behind me. And just as she was saying that, she spotted two lions sitting on that rock over there. And after she spotted those, we decided to drive further in. And as luck would have it, we spotted two more lions right under this tree. A male and a female who seem to be mating. We just saw them mating. And there's another line under that tree over there as well. I don't think you'll be able to see it very clearly. Although we've been lucky to see many of most of the other animals, the only one really evading us was a clear sighting of the leopard. And therefore, our mission for our last day of safari was to find a leopard. And as luck would have it... Guys, we've done it. We've spotted a leopard. Ready? Give the pattern on it. No wonder it was so well camouflaged in the last tree that we saw it in. So that completes our list. I think we've seen everything that we could want to see and more. And uh, yeah, it's been great. It's getting up completely now, I think. Oh my god. Now, if you want to move. Time to go.
So on the way back, we're just stopping over at the Maasai village to learn a little bit about their culture and to see how they live. Hello. Jambo. Hello, hello, Jambo. You're welcome. Masai are truly an interesting people in terms of the way they live, their schools, their homes. Their houses are made of mud, wood and cow dung. And what I found especially interesting was their diet, which mainly consists of milk, meat and blood. Actually only consists of that. This dog I saw in their village was also one of the only I've seen in Tanzania so far. So it was now time to leave and although we were leaving with heavy hearts, we were also leaving with the incredible weight of some amazing memories we made in this unforgettable country. This holiday has truly been the best of my entire life and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, in awe with this amazing country that is Tanzania.